Good morning, everyone. Something historic is going to take place today here at the Palm Beach Synagogue. And that is we're going to be hosting an entire day sovereignty conference addressing the legal, historic, biblical rights of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. And we have renowned scholars like Carolyn Glick, Brooke Goldstein, Dr. Goute, Pamela Dubin, and many others coming to educate us about the Jewish people's right to our homeland. And especially today with all the anti-Semitism and accusations made against Israel of being colonizers, we need to understand our own historic roots to the land of Israel. And the timing couldn't be better, because this past Shabbat was Parshat HaChodesh, where we read the first commandment given to the Jewish people, the commandment of counting the months of the year upon the exodus from Egypt, in preparation for the holiday of Passover known as the birth of the Jewish nation. And the very first Rashi, the French medieval commentary from the 11th century, begins his commentary on the entire Torah, on the opening verse that says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And Rashi asks, why is it that the Torah begins with the story of creation? After all, the Torah is not a history book. The Torah is a book of laws, of moral, ethical, religious obligations. Why does it begin with the history of the creation of the world? And on the very first commentary of the entire Torah, Rashi lays down the fundamental principle of Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel. Rashi says, and this was in the 11th century, and Rashi says that because God wanted us to know that when the nations of the world will come and accuse the Jewish people and say, you are thieves, you stole the land of Israel. We should respond to them and say, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. God is the creator of heaven and earth. And therefore, as the landlord of the entire earth, he can choose which land to designate to which people. And God chose to give the land of Israel to the Jewish people as he wrote in his Torah. And therefore the Torah begins with the history of creation to establish that God as the creator of the world gave the land of Israel to the Jewish people. And here Rashi wrote his commentary in the 11th century. And here we are almost a thousand years later. And the UN and all the nations of the world are saying, you're occupiers, you're colonizers, you're on stolen land. And our response is, this is our land. God gave it to us. And we have our sovereignty rights to this land. And in a day and age where there's so much confusion and distortions and lies, claiming all sorts of falsehoods about the Jewish people and the land of Israel, we have to educate and remind ourselves our historical rights. And we will spend an entire day at Palm Beach Synagogue, starting at 10.30, hearing from multiple speakers and scholars, so we as Jews educate ourselves about our historic rights to the land of Israel. It's a story told that in the UN, one day, the Palestinian representative was going to give a speech about how Jews are colonizers and occupiers and stole their land. And the Israeli ambassador got up and said, I just want to say a few words before he starts. And he said, you know, when Moses brought the people through the desert, he finally arrived at the Jordan River about to take the Jews into the land of Israel. And he saw water and he said, ah, so hot in the desert, let me take a, a swim in the Jordan River. So Moses got undressed, he jumped into the river, took a swim, and when he came out, his clothing, his clothes were missing. And the Israeli ambassador looked at the Palestinian representative and he said, and it was a Palestinian that stole Moses' clothing. And the Palestinian representative jumped up and said, that's crazy, that's impossible. There were no Palestinians there when Moses entered with the Jewish people, brought the Jewish people to the land of Israel. And the Israeli ambassador said, I rest my case. And he sat down. The Jewish people came to the land of Israel 3,300 years ago. Islam wasn't even born until the sixth century CE, some 2,000 years later. We are the indigenous people of the land of Israel. That's why it's called Judea and Samaria not the West Bank. And we have thousands and thousands of pieces of archaeological evidence and proof to the presence of the Jewish people, starting with the Kotel, the Western Wall, 
but all the archaeological finds showing and dating our existence in the land of Israel going back 3,000 years ago to the time of King David. And therefore, as Jews, we have to remember, like the first Rashi says, God gave us this land and we have rights to live, to settle, to live, to thrive as a nation in our holy land of Israel. Have a wonderful day and I hope that this first sovereignty conference, that I don't know of any other such conference ever taking place in the United States of America, will spur many others to host such conferences so we as Jews at least will know how to respond to the world. Have a wonderful day.